So hello everyone. Hello. Welcome to the new day and new vlog. Today we have with us our beloved friend Muntasir. How are you, Muntasir? I am fine. And how are you? Superb. And I hope you have watched yesterday's video in which we showed one of the SCI room which is there in our university. You can say the terminal room as well. There were many systems. And one thing, if you have watched in that video, is regarding the printing machine which was there. And today we are gonna talk about the printing system in German public university, which is in our case RPTU. Kaiserslautern. Many students or upcoming students might have this doubt or query how they can do printing things in RPTU. So I think we'll try to cover this topic today and we'll share the details as well as show you the location as well. So Muntasir, if we start regarding the printing system here. For the printing system, uh, we have a, our own printing system, we have our printing room, we have our printing machines. Correct. And by connecting to the university network, one can print. Yeah. There are some limits, we will discuss one by one. Yeah. But usually what happens is, you can use uh, your uh, university network or you can use WireGuard to connect to the university network. Correct. And then you can print any documents from your system. Yeah. And it prints to the printing machine here in the RPTU in one of the room that we will show in soon. Yeah. So they, there you will then go and collect your printing. Correct. So I would say stay tuned because we would first tell you the details, then we'll show you in the laptop as well, which website or which link you have to refer to to set up an account and to see the details you can check your balance as well and then we'll show you the place as well so Muntasir regarding this printing system can we print or can we scan as well here yeah that's true we can print and we can scan there is another machine that's called follow me yeah. you can go there and just scan your documents as well correct correct but i think we need an account first that's of all. true that's true for for the scanning you, you need an account for your printing printing as well you need an account yeah for the printing usually your username that is given by the authority yeah you can use RHRK, that then, you can uh, say the rhrk account you will uh, give they will give you and you can log into that correct. we will show you step by step but there is a website where everything is mentioned yeah so if i uh, just go from the top once uh, you ha you have to at first set up your printing correct. for example you have a new printer at your home yeah. so you need to set up correct. So it's kind of like that you just uh, have to allow or add your account. university's printer to your system correct and once it is, it is added then it's like easy peasy you just yeah. open any document and the print and, and then you print. can print and then you can go and collect your document as well and like he said you need an account because even if we want to access qis portal or kai i think in kai we can just directly, directly go but in qis portal or oled you need an account That's rhrk true. account you can say so i think That's that is required first of all so i think it's good if we start with the documentation uh, process first, that's true yeah. so for the documentation as i said the first one is about uh, how to set up yeah. so it's a one-time process once you set it up or uh, add the relevant printer to your yeah. system yeah then you can open any document and print it correct for the printing there are two settings mostly uh, there are multiple pages or uh, multiple page sizes there is a4 a3 we mostly use a4 size and that too in black and what, white we that's that's what we prefer for the a4 we have also like black and white and color correct the black and white is sw or color is far away far away yeah. so for the black and white and uh, color whatever you want you just select it and then print it it will print it out yeah and about the cost how much does it cost yeah so i think it's important you one need to know that we have point system here that's true it's not actually it will not cost you direct money yeah it will cost you the points yeah so in a way it's free of cost actually it's kind for of students free, for a free of cost for example at the beginning of each month you will get 200 points correct and when you print something based on your printing capacity or printing situation it will deduct to some points yeah like how many pages you print that's true for example uh, for the uh, color black and white you can say it's one point for the uh, color it's almost four point and sometimes if you have too much color or too much long page it's more than that yeah so, so it, i think it accumulates and then it calculates and deducts the points but, okay maybe you paste uh, printed five pages and for this five pages there is this much color page and then yeah. you can uh, print it and it is deduct the points according yeah, to that correct and for the whole semester you have a six month semester every month you will get 200 credits so it, it will not get zero at the end of the month okay yeah so you have these points suppose now you have i think more than 1200 points that's true, that's <laughs> so true. i think you can collect these points you can print any document any pptes as well like during exam time i think we use it sometimes Mostly to print the notes, notes or print the slides you can do that true. as well and uh, like any other system you will print it out and you will print it out you can print it in one page you can print it in both direction correct and when you print out you will print a regular format and one additional page will be printed which will be mentioned your username correct and we will show you the room where we will go later and, and collect your 
uh, document from the appropriate places yeah, it is sorted it is, by your username sorted by the username so i think it's good if we first start with the step by step process how to set up this account and to which website one has to go so let's see that so we will give you the link in the description yeah but let's uh, go through the website and give you the some points correct so i think now we'll have a look at the website uh, so it's actually original in uh, Deutsch. so yeah. i'm converting it to english correct and if you can see that uh, this is the everything is mentioned here for example for the quota it is mentioned that uh, for the from the first of march and from the first of september there will be ac the account will be reset yeah and for the students usually it's 200 points and for the staff as well there are some of the points mentioned Correct. And if we go up again and we have a step by step instruction. Correct. For the step by step instruction, you have to go through this page to for the initial setup and other information. Yeah. For example, we have any uh, every relevant printing information here that we will show you. But let's go down a little bit. You here, have many options here. We have many options here. For the here actually it is clearly mentioned the configuration for the printer. You and for several operating systems like whether true. it's windows mac that's os or linux that's true for windows mac os or linux if i go to just windows you can see this page is again in german so let me translate correct and here if i go it is mentioned that for a a4 sw a4 farbe or the types that we have mentioned so far is actually written step by step as well as a screenshot for example you have to go to this link and then i have to da download you have to log in and you see it's written the rptu password and the yeah. account if you can That's scroll true. here yeah. yeah and everything password is written and then you have to connect the printer yeah and so actually it's step by step with the images mentioned i would say this is it is straightforward and one can do it yeah and if i go back to the previous page where we have already mentioned you can you can do password change and everything information you can go through if you want to know details yeah but if we want to share the key information here you can go to this link and the all the key information is also mentioned in this pdf correct for example the for the center's pdf system the type one a for air a for sw is the black and white and a3 uh, faber yeah, is the color a4 farba is the color a4 farba as well yeah that's yeah. true that's true and a3 is a different page size yeah but we have same version for sw and black, uh, black farba as well yeah and uh, this uh, is actually decentralized here actually some key point mentioned for example it's free of charge it's limited by quota correct that we have mentioned already and it's actually person bounded it has some waiting times correct so it means that if you want uh, printing something sometimes it takes almost one hour but it can take some time more between than 30 that. minutes and it's written well, if you can just scroll, scroll a little bit up here yeah. it's written between 30 minutes and 24 hours to process but it depends on the queue so that's true if there is like too much pressure then uh, it actually takes more time but mostly i would say within one and a half hour it actually happens okay. so you, you, you will get a mail in your personal mail that it is when printed and you will show the details but here it also been shown that avoid unnecessary printouts, printing private documents or printing black pages. Correct. Because it will reduce your quota and it will be problem for the university as well. Yeah. So these actually the basic points that you should uh, you should uh, keep in mind yeah. while printing. Sometimes there are some delayed jobs and all. There is actually nothing uh, I would say that uh, any important. But just that A4 for SW is a black and white and A4 Farbe is a pay color. The weight of the paper is also mentioned. 80 gram here. recycled paper and all the details I think you can go through this document and read this document out. Like uh, Muntasir mentioned that you yes. can click on that link from where you will get that document, yes, right? True. And here is actually there is another one mentioned in this document that Druk Ausgabe Unique L. If you go to this link, you will see that they will tell you to log in and here it will uh, give you the details of how you can log in and Correct. you can see your information so now we will show you the login page where you can log in and uh, get all the details of the information of your printing correct so if i start from the pdf from this pdf you go to this link and if you click on this thing it will show you the rptu standard login page correct here you can uh, add your username and password yeah and then you hit login yeah and then you can uh, log into your system correct and one more point to uh, notice here is that it is without at the rate rhrk.uni-kl.d or without at the rate rptu.d so you just have to mention your username here and the password here i think currently muntasir is adding or login with his login in with his credentials so now muntasir are you logged in yeah i can so now let's see how it looks like so this is the rptu you can see on the left side we have the menus on the yeah. right side we have summary where it is balanced 
and uh, that is balance is mentioned the print job and the pages as well yeah. so you can see all the details and to be mentioned here is the balance is the total balance that is still remaining yeah. and this is the amount you can still print so this this is the balance on number of points that you ha currently have in yeah. your account that's true correct and this is the m point you can uh, still have that you can use while printing yeah and but i think one point to just mention here is that it will get reset in september like it was that's, mentioned that's right it will uh, get reset in the september and another one is in the summary page we have a graph but that i will not show you because i have some sensitive information on that yeah you have your username in that so i think that's, that's important so not, but we can i think go to the other options that we have here that's true we can go so you can see this is uh, the sum below the summary we have the rates which Correct. also mentioned all the rates yeah. so if i just show you one it will actually show you one pop up you can see for the a4 color we have four for the a4 gray scale which is actually white we have uh, black one black and white yeah, yeah one. black and white we have one so any point is mentioned here yeah and you have uh, respective points like for a3 how much does it cost for color 8 gray scale 2 color duplex 8 again and gray scale duplex 2 so i think these are the various details which are mentioned here and i think the same table is mentioned that's true <laughs> for oh no here it's so, there is a difference like you can notice some of the difference here like uh, there is actually I, I believe a0 and a1 is also mentioned yeah but uh, for others it's a, a0 and y1 not mentioned yeah but the same amount is mentioned multiple times correct so you can notice the tables here so i think yeah. this you can go and navigate see Mostly, I think the details are same here, right? Yes. So you can re read these tables. You can get an idea how much points will be deducted from the account. And now, Monsir, you can continue with the other tabs as well. So let's give you an overview of the other tabs. Yeah. When you hit the print for the first time, it yeah. will come to the job pending release. Yeah. If I hit on it, you will see here it will be mentioned the jobs that are still pending. That Correct. Means it has not been printed. And this page is actually auto-refreshed. Correct. And when it has been printed, it will go to recent print jobs. Correct. Correct. Now, one more point to notice here uh, in job spending release is that your balance is shown here. You have the time uh, column as well, the printer, right? Which printer is being used, the document, I think the name will come and the other details as well, pages and how much does it cost. So you can see the cost of that particular print job as well Correct. here. And then in the action, I think uh, if it's in job pending release, you can still cancel that. Uh, That's true. You can still cancel it. Just, uh, for example, you mistakenly printed anything and if yeah. you don't want it, just come to job pending release and cancel the PDF and then it will cancel the printing. Correct. And now if we proceed further with recent print job. So recent print job, you will have uh, the list of printers that you have printed, for example, for last one month or so, something okay. like that. You can put the filter as well. So and you can, it, I think. It has the almost the same uh, labels or columns. Yeah. And then if we go to the transition history, you will see all the transition or done. That, yeah. yeah. The amount that is deducted. For now, I have already got uh, 200 points for August 1st that is actually mentioned here correct so I think the 200 points like he said monthly you get 200 points credited so you can see all the transaction history in that That's tab true. so I think to summarize you can see the total balance you can see what you are printing you can see the printed job you can see the transition history you can see all the details from this space correct so I think it's this is an important portal because once you you have a document and then you click on print then you I think you can simply check this portal check whether this it's portal. printed or not and then you can go to the particular place that's where true. we would be going in some time. That's true. Here actually I can mention that you can check this portal and see okay it is in the recent print job that means it has been printed yeah. or you will also get a mail that your document has been printed. Correct. But I think one of the important points is that sometimes you need a VPN as well if you want to check it from your... Yeah, you need WireGuard to connect it and install it. If you are not in the university, you are uh, from other another network and you want to connect it to the university kind of website. Yeah, so I think this is important and I think we covered like from the starting, like the starting login page or the starting page of uh, printing in RPTU and you can check various tabs and details. Tabs. We, can, we covered everything but not the one where we collected the printing. So I think we it's important we see the place. You see the place like how we want to collect it. Correct. So now we'll put a cut here and we'll reach to the place. So we are in the middle and you can see building 34 on the behind of me. Correct. That is actually for the, the building where we will go. Yeah. But let me share my location first. Correct. So on my left uh, right side, we have the Mensa. Yeah. Maybe you have already watched our Mensa video. Correct. If not, you can watch now. Yeah. And here is building 46. Yeah. So we will also make a video about this as well. Yeah. And from Mensa to building 46, we will go to building 34. Correct. That is actually the printing place. Correct. And I think in building, uh, in front of building 46 in this amphitheater we had this computer science summer party as well yes, so yes. but i think today's topic is printing so yes, <laughs> let's go towards the so building let's go so uh, as i was saying that we have made a video on mensa 
Okay. Now we have shared everything that you need to know about Mensa. Yeah. And now we will uh, go to the building 34. Yeah. In the building 34, we have the office of RHRK. Yeah. Where you can go if you have any problem. Yeah. We have the printing machine where it is printed. And then we have a section where they actually stack it or extract all the documents. Correct. So uh, you just go there and uh, correct it and get your document. Correct. And I think there is there are scanner machines as well in uh, that's true, that's building true. The, 34. The machine that uses the printing as well, it uses for the scanning as well. Yeah. And so, I think I can notice one <laughs> van as well behind you. And I think now I'll take a turn to give so an idea. The building 34, we will go this way. And if you continue going this way, we will reach. Another important point to mention is just in front of building 34, we have our library. Central library. That's true. We have our central library where you can go. For the central library, you can also use their machine to scan as well. Correct. And that's also for free. Right. And I think there is one pond type of thing here. Yeah, that's a nice view. Yeah. In summer, it's nice view. We have like a lot of uh, trees and all. So I would say it's quite nice. You feel nice. On a summer, on a winter, it's also good. I would, I would say. Sometimes it become icy, snowy. Yes, that's true. Right. Icy, snowy. But we have the video. So this is building 34. You can see. On Correct. The top, you can see. And here, actually, on the uh, right side, the building door is given. So we will uh, gradually walk you by that, and we will go. So let's go. Uh, although there are some people, I'm not sure if they are discovered or not. If uh, if they are, we are sorry. But let's go. So you can see this is building 34. One second, yeah. I'll just take a turn and I'll show this building number 34 here. So, open it, you go this way. Uh, I will try to uh, talk a little bit place because we are in the indoor, so I will use my indoor voice. And here you can see the direction RZ Service Center and Druk Ausgabe. That's true. And if I go this way, this is the door. And I will go and we will go to the printing office and we will collect our document. Correct. Suppose yes. if we have any documents. Suppose we have any documents. And if we go there, we will see you. Uh, so this is the initial printing machine or scanning machine. And you can use the printing or usually when you print it, it prints here. But there is one person who collects it and stacks it in the room. Yeah, so, right. And you can notice they are showing the procedure as well in the screen. This is something new, I guess. That's true. They uh, put a monitor here. And you can see on there, there is also a service center. Here you can come if you have any problem yeah. and uh, communicate with them if you have any problem or anything. But there is actually the time, as you mentioned, that monitor to donor start is, I believe, from 1 to 5.15. Yeah. And uh, from prior time is 9.30 to 10.30. Correct. So that is a quite weird thing. So you can come <laughs> if you have any problem. And behind you are these scanner machines. Yeah, this is actually the printer and the scanner. Okay. Actually yeah. happens for this. Sometimes when it happens is, we are going into the room and yeah. in the room you don't find your document Correct. you may find it here yeah so if i go to there so this is the true house cupboard the room where all the documents is actually stacked so if i show you there is actually a lot of shelves every shelf we have one letter mention for example this is y shelf. so that means any person who has a username starts with y will have the document there so from alphabet a to z every alphabet is mentioned here for example, the alphabet A starts from here. So this is A, 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 and then we have B, C, D, and so on. Correct. So for if your username starts with A, you will look to the stack of A, and you will find some document. Correct. And if your username starts with D, then maybe we go that way. So the whole uh, room is actually with a lot of shelves, with the alphabets mentioned. Yeah. Just for the, your username, you will go there, and you will find your document. Correct. And this is the room, and I think there are different sizes documents as well that you can co collect. Like the baskets are also there for comparatively large size documents. And here also, I believe this is new as well. They have mentioned all the PDFs. Like we said. Shown you. Yeah. The A4 SW is black, one point. A4 Farber is four point. And we have the PDF that is we showed you. This is actually printed in big size. So if you don't have any uh, laptop, you can just come here, read it while yeah. you are print printing. Correct. But so, I think we won't be zooming in because these are personal documents of the people here. But just to give an idea, if we can see this entire so you area. Just come here and you see, okay, this is why this is my document. You just collect it and you go home. And one of the important point to notice, some of the documents are yellow and green, but these are not the print pages. These are the very first page. First pages that where actually user username is mentioned. Correct. So that suppose uh, many people can have a username with X, multiple username. Mm -hmm. So what's the second letter? So the entire username is mentioned and are separ separated by that page. So I think this is a separation page. That's true. 
or you can say an hyper plane. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I think this is it. We have actually the uh, faces mentioned, and the front faces which actually we will show you. And this another room here which is verboten. Verboten, so we cannot uh, go inside. The, here actually the person stays who actually collects it, the document from the printer and stacks it in here. Yeah. Your job is to collect the document from the appropriate stack. Correct. So I think so this I, is important, and I hope through this uh, entire room you get an idea how this room looks like. I'll just take a tour so that you can see there are various shelves here but i won't be zooming into someone's document Hello. and muntasir is back and now if we go out from this so side just now we will to go home i think that's it so we have actually shared all the processes you can see all the printings you, now you know how to print it where to print it and where from where you can collect the document correct so through this vlog i hope you also get the idea that uh, what are the various navigation points like the mensa building the building number 34 where you have to come to collect the printouts you have the scanner machines as well and now i think this is something new they have a screen as well to tell you and even if after this video you have some doubt there is one room you can I go there understand. you can ask if you have a problem setting up the account as well so thank you muntasir for sharing all these details these insights and giving this entire tour of the printing system in germany you can say in german public university in rptu kaiserslautern and druk ausgaba is also written there <laughs> So thank you Muntasir once again for sharing all these details the insights starting from the point how one has to set up an account starting from the documents we'll put the documents or the websites link in the description and you also try to share the details actually Muntasir shared all the details and also he has given a tour regarding the entire building 34 and where one has to come to collect the print or you know to have or to ask any query from the respective office and we have the scanner machines as well here any more recommendation that you have uh, the recommendation is i would say if you have any confusion if you have any problem you can come to our just service center yeah and they will help you correct so i think by thanking everyone i'll end this vlog now rest you know like comment share subscribe it doesn't take much time bye bye ciao ciao namaste Chalo, see you in new day, new vlog. Also, you can go to different playlists and watch videos according to your interest. You can also go to RPTU Kaisa Slot and Playlist. There the videos are sorted and are in English as well. So you can watch that whenever you get time. Bye-bye.